class children it's about the pelvic region the pelvis word is always related to the hip to the hip region okay and pelvis also supports major internal organs yes so pelvic girdle like shoulder girdle will perform the same function of connecting the lower limbs okay connecting the hind limbs or the legs to the central axis of the body apart from that my children the pelvic region the lower region of the body is also carrying extra weight of the upper body okay it is supporting the trunk right now pelvic girdle essentially you can feel it if you really are in the same mood of moving in the class you can in today's class also i would request you move with me the more you move easier and fun and rewarding it will become so you can easily appreciate the two hip bones yes you can dance also if you want so these hip bones are the two coxal bones they are called coxal bones with me on this now i'll tell you when pens need to be up we follow the same guideline the agreement that we have ma'am we are going to listen we are going to move with you we are going to write with you all right so now this hip bone each bone consists of this broad part the ilium ilium not the intestinal ilium pubis okay and the ischium all right so now pens up everybody pens up write down hip bone ilium pubis and ischium are you clear now at the junction of these bones look at the screen please okay so now at the junction of these three bones there's a depression you understand what is a depression let's first understand what is a cavity what is a depression okay so children cavity is a short short bounded space yeah remember foramen i told you in the last class whenever the word foramen comes it's going to come in the next chapter nervous system and when it comes you out of all people should not be surprised okay because i've told you that foramen means a space a cavity depression is rather this okay so this